Welcome back. In our previous videos, we have covered inputs in React Native. Now, let's talk about forms. We're going to be learning this through a series of four videos where we will be building a login form from scratch. In this particular video, our focus will be on building the user interface for our login form. This means we'll be writing the JSX and styling it. I have reset app component to minimal code. We have imports for view, text, text input, button, and style sheet. The JSX is empty. Now let's add the elements for the login form. First things first, we'll begin with a view component. Think of this as our main container. And of course, we're going to apply some container styles to make it look neat. Style is equal to styles.container. And we're going to define the container styles. Flex set to one, justify content center, a bit of padding in the horizontal direction, and a slightly gray background color. Next, inside this container, let's nest another view component. This will act as our form container. And you guessed it, we're going to style it using form styles. Styles.form. And we're going to specify a white background color, padding, border radius, shadow color, shadow offset, shadow opacity, shadow radius, and elevation. This is specifically for Android. Next, it's time to add our labels and inputs. We'll need one for username and one for password. For our inputs, let's add a placeholder to guide our users. Enter your username. Enter your password. For the password input, always use secure text entry to keep passwords hidden. Next, let's style these components. For the label, I'm going to apply style is equal to styles.label. And for the text input, style is equal to styles.input. For label, we set font size 16, margin bottom 5, font weight bold. For input, height of 40. A border color, border width of 1, margin bottom 15, padding 10, and border radius 5. Moving on, we will add a button that users can click to submit this form data. We will title it Login, and as for the on press prop, we will leave it empty for now. We'll tackle that in an upcoming video. If we save the file and take a look at the UI, we can see our login form, username, password, and the login button. For our final step, we're going to manage the form state using the use state hook. Let's import it at the top. We'll then create two state variables. Username, empty string as the default value. Password, empty string as the default value. On the text inputs, we add value is equal to username. And on change text, set username. Similarly, value is equal to password. And on change text is equal to set password. We can now manage our form state seamlessly. Our next major step is to add validation for the form. But before we dive into that, I want to highlight a common issue many developers face when working with inputs in React Native. Let's see what that is in the next video.